Conscious Global Community Creation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 294. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 294, November 11th, 2018 edition. Uh, One Community's mission, if you're not already familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to create self replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today's topic that I'd like to talk about is conscious global community creation. And everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is our open source designs and process for creating that. And what is conscious global community creation? Well, we see it as people living and creating for the highest good of all life on our planet. And we don't expect everybody to participate like that, but we are creating from that place with the idea that if we create everything that we're doing, with the consciousness, with the desire to do our absolute best to create for the highest good of all life on this planet. And that doesn't know it mean that we've got it figured out. It means that we're trying, and that is our focus, and that is our goal, and we make our decisions from that place. We believe that in creating everything that we're doing from that place, we are building the foundations for conscious global community creation, creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions covering all aspects of sustainable living and creating a sustainable civilization. And that includes highest good approaches to food, energy, and housing, which are the physical foundations of sustainability that everybody is familiar with, but also combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good approaches to education, fulfilled living practices and social architecture, highest good economic models, as well as true earth stewardship. And putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that we are creating to be better than the way that most people are living today. And we're doing this so that we can create conscious global communities working together in cooperation and collaboration to create a better world for everybody. And we believe that in these environments, if we can demonstrate that it's providing everything that people need, creating almost 100% self-sufficiency and capable of generating sufficient revenue to help people pay off their debts, to continue to expand, but also to be able to give, to be able to give to the world, to be able to help support and benefit others as well. We think that from this place where everybody has enough of what they want, humanity will do what humanity really, really wants to. We believe in an empathic civilization. We believe in a conscientious and conscious civilization. We believe that most people really want to do the right thing. And if they have enough, most people will give their extra to other people to help them because that's the right thing to do. And so as an all volunteer, nonprofit, 100% unpaid organization, we're working together to create that. Because we can create a world that works for everybody and we can do it within our lifetime. If we launch one community, as we launch one community, as the first, of these teacher demonstration hubs, if one community can inspire just two more communities like ours to start the following year. And our community is starting with just 50 people, but it will grow to hundreds, then thousands, and eventually hosting hundreds of thousands of people annually, and a a resident population of a couple thousand people. If we can launch that of just 50 people and inspire two more communities of 50 people to launch, providing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to establish a community like the ones that you see in the background here. If we can inspire two more the next year, and those two plus us can inspire four more the year after that, and eight more the year after that, and 16 more the year after that, and 32 and 64. That self-replicating process within 30 years would include every single person on the planet. Now, realistically, the replication process probably won't happen that way, but it doesn't have to. We're looking to reach that tipping point of conscious global community creation, a cooperative and a collaborative of global communities working together sufficiently that so that we can provide something for everybody. And so our goal is to become the number one open source 
sustainability provider in the world within six months of moving onto the property. As we continue to open source and free share everything that we're doing, we add all the building videos and all the PDFs and all the details and we double check all of our cost analysis and our labor statistics and we open source and free share all that. We use the custom software that we've designed to work in collaboration, cooperation with others that would like to do the same, refining the process, making it more efficient, making it more cost effective, essentially making it easy enough affordable enough and demonstrating as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own so that people can build sustainable villages around the world and so that people can also have conscious global community creation in other ways using what we're creating as well. It might be a local garden, a shared garden. It could be the education program. It could be parts of the social architecture where people are open sourcing and free sharing you know, classes or something that they're teaching locally. Bringing get people together for the highest good of each other for the highest good, of, obviously, of themselves, and for the highest good of all life on this planet, working together, open sourcing and free sharing the information that we know people want that can move us in the direction of global sustainability. And to reach that tipping point of mainstream engagement so that everybody who wants to can participate, and that being enough to benefit all the people that don't want to. Nobody has to change their lifestyle if they don't want to, but we believe that what we're creating will be compelling enough, attractive enough, that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And that's the attractive part. So we are open sourcing and free sharing everything that's necessary because we want to make it easy enough and affordable enough so that combined all this will self-replicate. And that is the global Conscious, uh, sorry, the conscious global community creation that we are so focused on and dedicated to. And we see it as the greatest thing that we can dedicate our lives to. What is more noble, what better adventure than to create world change and to be a part of this process, to be at the front of a wave of positive, sustainable change, working together in cooperation and collaboration, inviting the entire world to participate and 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 engaging this process of addressing the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come using all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions that we're creating to create a better world for everybody. This is what we're doing. So with that said, here's one week of our teams, our all-volunteer nonprofit teams, progress and accomplishments, working towards this goal of conscious global creation for the highest good of all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly Instructions. The focus this week was designing the mounting brackets for the gas spring and setting the dimensions for the placement of these brackets. You can see some of this work in progress here. Heyman Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 25th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was completing the first two test models for forces acting on the nails that will be used between the different bag courses. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 23rd week volunteering. Resuming her work on the Earthbag Village materials and costs, this week she started working on the Three Dome Cluster cost analysis and helped make updates to the Earthbag Village master sheet and AutoCAD files. You can see some of this work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also rejoined the team and started helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the Earthbag Village. This week Guy completed his part helping with the three renders shown here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 29th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, he created a detailed list of the wall section parts and scouted potential build issues throughout the existing materials list and assembly instructions. You can see some of this work here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 137 from Dean. His focus this week was continued development of the section views and six dome layouts. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplicable City Center updates for the Living Dome. We reshaped the first floor windows, 
made openings in the dome wall for the windows, and updated the window box. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued developing the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems design page. This week we finished the Conditions section content and graphics, some of which you can see here. And the core team started developing the Duplical City Center materials and costs. This week we created the initial formatting, wrote the what and why sections, and added the overview cost analysis graphic. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 103rd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was creating new AutoCAD graphics for each type of light fixture, a legend explaining them all, and adding a missing zone to the master file. You can see examples of all this here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we completed working on rabbits. We also revisited researching commercial chicken coops and created a list of chicken nesting box and deep litter and bedding features. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, Summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more. And leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his fifth week helping the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for Surveyor, our top-level One Community brand pages, and refined and added additional words to the previously researched areas of structural engineer, civil engineering, plumbing, food specialist, and electrical engineer, product designer, attorney, graphic designer, and project manager. In addition to this, the core team working with the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Shubra Mittal, software delivery manager, and Ashwarya Singh, computer science engineer, continued developing the software. This week, we added four new members to the design team, completed Ember UI and HGN REST code for handling delete, inactivate and archive user functionalities, created unit test cases for the login page, and implemented navigation bar routing to time log, dashboard, and reports in React. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of conscious global community creation. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list and send out one email to you every week uh, each time we release another one of these updates. And if you'd like to help, visit our helping page. Uh, you can join us on social media. That's the easiest way to help. Just become a member of one of our social media groups uh, or share some of our information. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. All the big ones, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to participate. Uh, and thanks.
Thanks for watching. Thanks if you're somebody that's donated. We're 100% unpaid team, as I said. So all donations go to forwarding our nonprofit goals and sustainability goals. None of those go to my paycheck or anybody else. Not paid for any of the work that I do here. I'm a volunteer just like everyone else. And so uh, we're focused on world change. And thank so thank you in whatever way that you've contributed to helping us. We really appreciate it. Be it a donation, be it just watching these videos through to the end, be, be it uh, sharing our information through, through social media, sending us an email or suggestion or sharing a great resource with us. Whatever form works for you, every little bit makes a difference. And by working together, by cooperating, collaborating in the way that works best for us as individuals and doing just a little bit to help each other out and to help the world, we will achieve this goal. And as somebody who's been at it for eight years, I can say that every little step makes a big difference. And uh, through those baby steps, we are completing a massive journey towards an amazing destination. And so if you're somebody that's on that journey with us, thanks. We do appreciate it. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.